Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing a $70 microphone. Stay tuned. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. Before we start the video, I would like to thank TC for sending out the microphone for reviewing this product. Now let's get into it. Like a kid with candy. As soon as you open the box, you're greeted with a pretty good quality pop filter. Set that aside for now. And uh, they give you a nice little thank you and contact card right here. That's nice. A nice installation guide. All right. I'm not gonna be using that. I don't. I don't use installations. Who? <laughs> Installation guy. Yeah, let's put it in there. Let's waste money and see who uses it. No, no. Who do you think I am? All right. So in the box, it comes with a shock mount. Comes with a little wind foam cover to protect against the plosives. Uh, this is the cable to connect the mic to the computer. And we've got a nice little mic stand right here. So also inside the box, it comes with a shock boom arm. This is what you use to connect it to your desk. And it does come with a desk clamp too. So yeah, you put this on the desk, you put this on the desk, you put the clamp into it and bam, voila, it's on your desk. And last but not least, the actual TC microphone in its flesh and blood. Like always, there is nothing inside the rest of the box. So this is everything that comes in the box. So this is a pretty good deal for about $68. Now, of course, this microphone stand is probably never gonna be used. This right here is probably never gonna be used. So this is where they usually save their money. They usually cut the budgets on things like this, right? This is a, a plastic holder. This is also a really cheap stand that you really don't want to have on your desk. Now the shock mount here is also pretty plastic. Um, it'll get the job done. By no means will you need a more expensive one. This will get the job done. You just gotta be careful with it as these little rubber bands, they won't snap, but they'll definitely come out of place as you can see right here. So you just gotta re-put them back into their little spots. All right, so let's set this microphone up and hook it onto this desk that I've got right here. Okay, so you're obviously gonna start by putting the microphone into this little guy right here. And the front of the microphone is obviously gonna be the part of the microphone that has a TC logo. So you wanna make sure that that part of the microphone is facing your mouth. That That's, I'm sorry for, that's kind of distracting. Some dude, come on, we get it. Now if your stand is to the side, you want the TC microphone facing like this, which is how I'm gonna keep it set up. Now it's time to set up the desk clamp. The clamp right here is actually not supposed to face this way, it's supposed to face this way. So this little guy goes in through here. Obviously you're able to loosen it. Now to finally put the boom arm into the clamp, you gotta loosen the screw that's on the clamp and you gotta put the little thingy that's meant to be in the hole, into the hole. All right, before this turns into a dirty joke, let's get it over with. And just tighten down that little knob just to make it secure and make sure that this thing doesn't wiggle around while you're, you know, holding it and using it as a boom arm. And it's real easy to screw this guy on. You just go ahead and put this thing right here and you just screw it. You just, you just screw the mic on. Look at that. Oh yeah. And you gotta put the pop filter on too. So just put the guy on the stand and bam, you're set up. It was that easy. Really? No, it really was easy. I'm not even gonna lie. You could have done it yourself. I don't know why you're watching this video, so you could have freaking done it yourself. All right, I've just set up the microphone. This is a sound quality test of the TCYT730 microphone. Testing one, two, three, four, mic check. Right now I am about six inches away from the microphone. I'm currently about a foot away from the microphone. I will now remain completely silent for you to hear the room noises and my family like freaking crying in the background. There's there's a lot of stuff. This microphone is surprisingly quiet at regular settings, which is absolutely impressive. For the next part, we're going to compare the YT730 to the AT2020 USB that I've got in the back. This is a sound test of the YT730 TC microphone. It's a $70 microphone, and this is a test. Check, 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 one, two. This is a sound test of the AT2020 USB microphone. I am about the same distance away from it as I was the TC microphone. This is a test, one, two, check, check. After reviewing both of the microphones, I have determined that the AT2020 is the overall better microphone. 
This microphone just has a harsher low end, so that would be great for a podcaster or someone who has a higher pitched voice and they want to sound like the voice is a little deeper. Now, of course, the proximity effect did play an effect on it, but the proximity effect is, is the closer you are to the microphone, the bassier that it sounds. And now my overall review on this microphone, it is a great microphone. By no means would I say get the AT2020 USB if you are starting out. If you have only $70, this is the microphone to get. The YT730 is a great microphone for all your needs. Uh, it's not gonna pick up a whole bunch of background noise. As you can tell from the test earlier, it was averaging about minus 54 decibels and my room is relatively loud. For example, listen. I have people in the background. I've got the fan of the light right here. I've got my computer going off. So there's a lot of things going on in the background at all times. And this microphone handled it very well. And in my opinion, it actually handled it a little better than the AT2020 USB. But that is only because it is a lot bassier and the higher frequencies are picked up more on the AT2020. Now this kit is $70, which means they have to cut the budget in a couple areas. And uh, here's where I think they cut the budget. I think it is in the shock mount. The shock mount is one thing that you generally don't want to cut budget in, but they did. And uh, you get a, a slightly cheap shock mount right here, but you can buy a pretty high quality shock mount for about $20. An issue that I already noticed with this guy is if you look at it, it's a little flimsy uh, even after you tighten it. But once you have it set, you really shouldn't mess with it and you'll be okay. You'll be all set, you'll be good to go. If you made it this far into the video, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, I don't know, last video was monkey butt. No, this time let's put donkey butt. I'm a child, I'm, I'm, I'm literally a child making videos. Why do they let me in front of the camera? <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a big thumbs down and tell me that I suck and that I'll never make it in life and that, um, I don't know. I don't know. My lighting sucks. You know, freaking, I'm a terrible director and, you know, I suck at making short films. I don't know. You know, just whatever you can come up with that'll totally ruin my life and make me sit in the fetal position in the corner of the room reading the comments. I, I would just please anything. Just don't subscribe and leave a big thumbs down. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. And last but not least, and last but not least, and last but not least, the actual TC microphone.